Hey folks, it's Jim. I'm going to go over the uh, Harbor Freight uh, new 100 watt system they have out. Um, the other one was 45 watts, three panels, and for as bulky as it was at 45 watts, I just thought, man, there's no use for that. But uh, people have found it, uh, worked a, quite a long time, and uh, really enjoyed it. So anyway, when they went to the 100 watt by just adding the extra single panel, I thought, yeah, I'm going to give it a shot, see if it's any good. Uh, one of the things that I like about it is it comes with uh, this guide for your uh, latitude. If you're new at setting solar up, you can see that uh, latitude chart there for your location in the country. The next thing was um, your, uh, your open circuit and your rated voltages. And what I found was uh, it was on the plus side uh, between 24.5 on your open circuit voltage and 25.25 uh, which is awesome that means it's they spec'd out higher than their uh, ratings which is the way it should be towards the plus five percent um, which was excellent another thing I uh, what I like about it is it's easy setup and it's versatile and it's easy to mount if needed okay if you want to mount it and it's plug and play solar for dummies and I'll show you what I mean by that uh, if you don't connect the panels together, uh, each panel has a stand. So uh, in this case, I'm not going to be using this panel. That's how easy it is to set up and take down. Each panel has its own drop. So quite simple, and that's that. Uh, the brackets are real easy, as you can see. Um, and each panel has its own brackets. Now let's go around and let's take a look at the back side. And... Uh, what we're going to look at here is the um, bracket that holds them together. And I'm going to zoom in on that a little bit. And as you can see, uh, it comes with the, the uh, butterfly nuts and the bolts and the little uh, brackets. And there's enough. There's six of them, so you have one extra. But you can see the bracket just comes here. You put the screw through here. Put your uh, wing nut on, screw it right in, and it secures the panels together. You can do it for all of them. Um, and also, having these holes here on the outside of the panel allows you, if you wanted to mount these to a frame or something, would make it fairly easy to do as well if you wanted a permanent type installation. Uh, the next thing I wanted to show was what I call the uh, quadrupus, <laughs> uh, which is that cable down there. And... Um, I really like the way they did this for uh, easy for if you're inexperienced at solar with this cable with the four drops okay and you see how easy this plugs in we're only running one panel but that's it just like tender battery tender cable plugs you can't really screw it up your polarities are good so there you go it's that easy to set up folks it really is if you're new at solar inexperienced I think uh, this is really a good deal uh, anyway, so there's that. Now let's get on to the charge controller. Um, and there it is sitting there. And let's see if we can zoom in on it a little. Uh, see, and right now it is 12.8. See if you can see that. Okay, and now I'm going to show you how easy it is to plug the solar in. This is coming from your, your quadrupus cable, right? And you're just going to plug that right in there, bing it a bang it a bop And you watch the voltage cycle up. It's going to go to 13.8 13 13 .8 volts, and then it will go into float mode, which is what I'm using here today. <coughs> so anyway, uh, I like it, and you see how easy it is to set up, and you see the voltage is rising. Uh, you also have the two USB outs here if you want to charge phones and computer or things like that, right? and uh, they work excellent a uh, good five plus volts coming out the next thing on it is the now you see we're already up to 13.8 which is our float voltage it will hold there and then cycle to 13.7 back and forth and keep the battery at 13.8 volts okay the other thing i like about this is the two lights right let's zoom out Okay, you can see the two lights here. Um, I really like these with Harbor Freight. Nice long cables, right? Uh, simple plug, right? Easy switch. 
on it. Um, just plug those right in. That's how simple it is. And here you go. Bang, there's a light. And they are pretty bright. I like them. Each one of these lights would be between $12 and $15 a piece with the cabling and all of that. So that's 30 bucks right there. 20 to 25 to 30 bucks for this. That's 60 right there. So you're getting your whole solar setup with the cabling for 100 bucks. I really don't think you can beat that, folks. I think Harbor Freight's really done a decent job with this setup. The other thing I like about this, uh, on top of the fact that you've got all your plug and play, your lights and whatnot, and your USB, down here you can plug in other solar if you wanted to, not run your Harbor Freight stuff, just run a standard solar 12 volt solar panel. And then also you have another out, so you can run a fan, a 12 volt type fantastic fan on your little camper or something right off of this charge controller, as long as its amperage uh, draw is low enough that can be supported by this little charge controller. So anyway, um, those are all the things I really like it, like about it, two lights as well, right? Um, and uh, I just wanted to show you the, the uh, cycles or the modes you can put it in. Uh, the first one is the normal, which is 13.2 volts is what it charges the battery to. The second is the boost or like a car alternator would charge to 14.4 volts. And then float, which is what I'm using today because I'm running an AGM battery, so I don't want to exceed 13.8 volts. And then there's your low voltage, which is 10.7 volts. And if you hit 10.7 volts, you have to charge it back up to 12.6 before your Harbor Freight system will kick back over. Now, I found that it will actually kick in at about 12 volts. If you unplug the system and then replug it back in, it actually worked and started charging again. So read the directions, though. Follow the directions, and uh, you're going to be okay. All right? So, um, but those are all of the different modes you can put it in. It's very easy to cycle through. Uh, the different modes you just push this button here and there we've got 14.4 as you see and there we've got the 13.8 which is what I'm gonna hold okay because of what I'm doing anyway overall I'm gonna give it a thumbs up I think it's well worth the money $150 uh, I really do um, and uh, I just don't think uh, it's a I think it's well put together actually, um, surprisingly, and I like it. So um, I probably won't use it, I'll play with it a little bit and probably wind up giving it away because I have a lot lighter systems. And that's the downside that I don't like about it, is it's heavy and bulky, those big panels, those amorphous panels, but amorphous panels do well in low sunlight, better than um, uh, your polycrystallines or your monocrystallines. So there's an advantage to that bulk of the amorphous panels. Um, the cost is outstanding, and um, yeah, I like it overall. Hopefully, I've covered uh, everything that you need for a review. And um, anyway, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I like it. Solar for dummies. It is very easy to set up. Great for boondocking, camping, and small camper setups, I think. Uh, yeah, I would get it. You know, if you're on a budget, I would definitely get it. Uh, I think got mine for 150 bucks. So the new 100 watt system. The old one was 45 watts. I would not buy that one, uh, not for that price. Uh, but this one at this price, fairly decent. Jim out.